All right, guys, thanks for tuning back in. Um, I apologize for the uh, abrupt end to my video, uh, part one of my Alien versus Predator unboxing. Um, you know, I got the uh, red screen there uh, a couple of times, so uh, just a little, you know, uh, swipe of the cartridge um, and, uh, at the bottom of the cartridge and, uh, you know, some uh, some air that I had to blow into that thing and uh, we were good. It started up. Um, now, Alien vs. Predator, you probably already know, but again, you know, just to reiterate, this was the killer app, really, for the uh, Atari Jaguar. And I can honestly tell you, after five minutes of just messing around with this uh, as the Marine, because you can play uh, three different stories in this game. Uh, as the Marine, as the Predator, and as the Alien. You can actually play as the other two. So right now you can tell by the hand on the screen that I'm playing as the Colonial Marine. Um, and like I was saying, five minutes into this game, I can tell you as a old school Jaguar fan, all right, I go back to 1997, uh, I have not seen a game, a game, that the Jaguar made me go, oh wow, like this is, this isn't bad. This is, this is actually pretty good uh, for a console. Like, all the other games, you know, you got Bubsy, you got Atari cards, you got the trash that's called Club Drive, um, you got, uh, you know, there's another game, uh, Snowboarding and Skiing. A lot of these were, you know, just didn't make you say at the time or even today, you know what, this is, this is, all, you know, this is 64 bits. This is better than my, you know, my Sega Genesis, my Super Nintendo. Uh, if anything, the Genesis and Super Nintendos were, you know, just better than the, uh, than the Jaguar, especially when it came to the ports. I just, I, I've never... You know, Atari carts, as rare as that game is, is awful. Um, you know, if you're if you're a Jaguar fan, uh, if you're just a collector of some Jaguar games, and you, you know, you definitely need to uh, to t you know see if you can get your hands on Atari carts. Uh, that is a uh, a rare game, um, and uh, it, it's just it, but it doesn't it doesn't play good. I mean, this it. it you can tell, you know, it's, it's called Atari Cards. So, you know, none of the characters are recognizable in that game. And um, you don't know any of them. And uh, the gameplay is, is just is boring. Um, and you can tell the game was just rushed. Uh, the, the gameplay was bad. Um, but in any case, back to Alien vs. Predator. Um, this game really has opened my eyes. Like I'm, I'm sitting. Like I, I, I have Wolfenstein 3D for the Jaguar. Um, and to be honest with you, it, it's a very good game. You know, Wolfenstein 3D. It's a classic. Everyone knows it. Um, everyone's played it, uh, at least from my era. And it, um, you know, it just didn't give me the impression of, you know, okay, okay you know. Jaguar can can do, you know, corridor shooters. Uh, Jaguar can do a Doom type game. This has a more realistic look to it, uh, more realistic than, let's say, your Doom or, you know, the Wolfenstein 3D. So, uh, this is truly amazing to to actually play this game uh, for the first time in all these years that it's eluded me. Um, I'm I'm just extremely excited inside. I, I I can't believe the Jaguar is pushing out graphics like these. I mean, look at the lighting on the on the on the ceiling there. I mean, look at that. You know, I mean, you gotta understand where I'm coming from because I'm coming from games like Atari Carts, like Club Drive. Um, you know, it, it it's it was sad. Some of the games that you know you had to you you played back in the day, um, and to see this console play 
a game of this graphical prowess, it, it really is a sight to behold. Um, as you can tell, I'm running around here. I don't. I killed a few aliens, um, and this game is certainly has me lost. Uh, actually, is this a new area? No, it looks like another one of these rooms. Um, Let's see if I'm I gotta find some aliens here. I gotta find some way to. There is a map on here. I don't know. There it is. Okay. I gotta get my bearings here. Okay, there I am. Alright, so these. Those are rooms. Let's see where I need to go. I think I went. Did I, did I go into this room yet? I don't think so. Let's take a look what's in here. See, I have a feeling an alien is going to be coming around the corner at some point. I'm a little nervous, I'm not going to lie. One of these aliens already scared the crap out of me. Popped out around, right around a corner. Ah, shh, dude, dude, for real. Dude, there's two of them. Seriously. Great, now I got to walk through. Oh my god, there's three. There's four! Why is there so many? I gotta walk through their 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 acid. I have to walk through this acid, and it and it and it and it and it hurts you. Watch, that hurt, and that hurt, and that hurt. So now I need to find some sort of life, some sort of health pack, because I have a feeling if I get bit up one more time, it's over for me. What's this? Is this the end of it? No. I'm I'm telling you right now, I am thrilled. This game has me tickled uh, to death right now. I, I just, here's some more bullets. I am overwhelmingly impressed. Uh, I had my doubts. I, had, I, I watched a ton of YouTube videos on people playing this, and a lot of people were praising it. Only a couple of people weren't too thrilled. Um, but most, the majority of people that I've seen do YouTube videos on this game were just absolutely thrilled about it. Um, and I was just worried that I was going to get it and, and the hype wasn't going to be real. Um, after all these years, you know, have people just talked it up. And I'm telling you right now, that's not the case. This game is fantastic. If you have a Jaguar, oh my goodness, there's another one. If you have a Jaguar, pick this up uh, ASAP. Um, I don't know. I kind of feel like I. Oh man, look at this. this it, these, these levels are just massive. I thought the end was coming just, you know, a couple minutes ago, but there's a whole lot more areas to explore here. Now this is just the Colonial Marine. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get to the, um, to the alien or the predator. Um, but I mean, <laughs> honestly, like for the Atari Jaguar, Wait, what the heck was that? Ah, oh, for real? For the Atari Jaguar, this game is as close to Call of Duty as you're going to get. Um, nobody should be getting a Jaguar and expecting any type of Call of Duty but or, or, or a game like it. Uh, but if you are a fan of first-person shooters like I am, you know, this, this is going to make you happy. Uh, it certainly has made me happy so far. Uh, uh, as you can see, there's pr I don't know if you can tell through the video, but uh, there is some... Uh, I, I hooked this up through the RF, because um, I don't have a component or a composite cable uh, for the Jaguar. Um, I would like to buy one on, the, uh, on eBay. Uh, I think they, you know, I can find them you know, 15, 20 bucks. It is a lot for a cable, but you know what? Um, if it helps me not hook it up through the RF adapter, uh, I'll be thrilled. Uh, but right now, I just have to kind of deal with the RF um, quality. And uh, I do have a, um, a CRTV in my storage, too. I should bring that out. Um, but it's just that, you know, you if you remember CRTVs, they're big, they're clunky. I mean, this wasn't too big. I think it's like a 19-inch. But it's still big, and I still need to be able to, to you know, haul that thing out here and uh, and hook it up, and it's just a pain. So, 
Uh, I, don't, I you know, if the quality on your what your guys are watching right now is good, then you know I'm I'm glad about that. But right now, uh, with the RF, I can see you know that if I had a component or a composite cable, it would be better. Uh, sorry about that, guys. I'm sitting here stuck in this elevator. I don't know how to move anywhere in this elevator. So what I'm going to do, wait, you know what, let me try another button. Shut the door. No, no, same thing. All right, well, let's get out of here now. So step through that acid there. See if we can find anything else going on around here. Another alien, actually two aliens. And I got to step through their acid again. I don't know if I'm going to die soon or what. Actually, I don't know where my health bar is. I don't know if there is a health bar. Um, maybe it'll start telling me that I'm dying, if I'm going to die in this game soon, but I don't see any any way. But uh, in any case, guys, thanks for tuning in. i got to go. Um, but uh, that's Alien vs. Predator. I'm thrilled about it. Uh, I'm going to see if I can make some more videos for you guys. Uh, I really need to start pushing them out. But uh, stay tuned, all right?